Attention. Attention. Encoded message. James Dragov is a former police officer, heavy weapons and defense specialist. His relentless fight for justice made him a legend on the force. Dragov currently controls the financial district and made it the center of his black market with the help of the Rikers, who he thinks of as family. His black market contracted the attention of Aaron Keener, thinking Dragov's supplies could be useful to his cause. Still we're left with some questions. Why does family mean so much to Dragov? How did Dragov become the leader of the Rikers? And why did he disavow the division, turn rogue and join Aaron Keener? Dragov was a police officer in New York City who was discovered and recruited after cracking down corruption within the organization. Dragov was activated as part of the first wave and was sent to Tribeca, a district below Lower Manhattan, alongside a fellow agent that later would turn rogue too. The fuck? How are this many agents assigned to Tribeca? Not really that surprising. You check who lives around here? It's a who's who of Manhattan. But these people can get out whenever they damn well please. They don't want to. These families have never faced adversity. Their biggest challenges are deciding what country to import their nannies from and which divorce and immigration lawyers to hire. So what you're saying is silver spoons and detached from reality. Got it on the first try. Smarter than you look. I hope the division would be free from this type of corruption. Nope. Check that side of the street. I think I saw a movement. Roger that. Drago's hatred for the corruption showed early in the pandemic as he and many other agents were sent to Tribeca to defend the neighborhoods of the wealthy. It was clear he disproved of these people that were detached from reality. Dragov too thinks that the division is corrupt, which seems to be a recurring theme among rogue agents. After the pandemic worsened, he was sent to Rikers Island, a detention center where the Rikers were founded. He was tasked to guard the prisoners and escort the warden of the island, but his allegiance changed on the island. What are you doing with the inmates? Well, they'll stay here. You're leaving people in lockup? Not everyone. Low-risk inmates have already been released, but the rest will have to remain in their cells. It's for everyone's safety. We can't ensure their transition into society. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. It's not your call to make, Agent. You have a direct order to escort me off the island. My orders are to serve the people. It's a shame I got distracted doing my job and wasn't here in time to save you. Wait, what are you doing? Hey, no, stop! Dragov disavowed the division by not only ignoring his objective of escorting the warden O'Brien off the island, but to kill him in cold blood. In Dragov's eyes, the Rikers were criminals, but still people, and those were the people to which his true loyalty lies. He threw O'Brien's keys to Larray Barrett, left the island, and the rest, as we know, is history. You recognize me? Not really. Rikers? You a former inmate or one of the new recruits? I was two cells over when you threw the warden's keys to Barrett. Hope you're not looking for a handout. Nah, ain't like that. I thought you'd like to hear about an opportunity. I'm listening. Barrett took a bullet, or ten. There's a lot of internal conflict, so... Not sure I'm the right guy. Just come by and say hello. I think you'll like us. We already owe you. Duchess, who saw Dragov slip the keys to Barrett, presented him with the opportunity to become the de facto leader of the Rikers after Barrett was taken out by the division. Dragov seemed hesitant at first, but as we know, he did explore the opportunity. I watched how this country responded to calls from help from those in need. Discarding them to come to the aid of men with means. We showed them. We stormed their castles. We took from them what they took from us. We threw those rich bastards out of their penthouses, and we built something from the ruins. A community. No. A family. Dad be proud. Family first, Milankilev. <laughs> oh, he taught me a lot. But not that he meant to. I watched as he bent men to his will. How he corrupted people around him, changing good to bad, the innocent to guilty. The family he built was one of crime, of extortion, of bribery. 
bribery, of murder. I chose the law. And all I saw was a different side of the same coin. Police, corrupt thugs taking petty bribes. Division, ha! Delusional killers of the highest order. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You? Yeah, you're criminals. I am too. We all are. But you didn't deserve what they did to you. So now, we'll take what we can. It's time to ring in a new era. During his youth, Drago was part of his father's criminal empire. His father's corruptness inspired him to join the NYPD, but even here, all he found was corruption. Nothing changed once he joined the division, the Illusional Killers of the Highest Order. So with the Rikers, he started his own family. Using his family, he set up a black market with high-ranking members like Bruno Knuckles, Duchess, Pebbles and Heavy supporting him on important objectives. Even the JTF Dark Zone outpost wasn't out of bounds. Listen up. This may be the Dark Zone. And you may think you're some bad motherfuckers. But I've got news for you. There are bigger motherfuckers out here. We're taking this outpost. But we've got to be smart. And we've got to have a plan. Bruno and Knuckles, you take the left flank. Duchess and Pebbles on the right. Heavy, you're with me. Once Heavy and I draw the JTF out, wait until you have a clear shot before opening fire. When I give the signal, Bruno and Knuckles kick in the back door and sweep through. Be careful not to cross into our sight line. Stay alert until you hear me give the all clear. I want this clean and casualty free. Any questions? Then let's roll! The black market Drago set up got the attention from none other than Aaron Keener. I'm gonna need a list. Here you go. Some of these are gonna be hard to find. Sarah crates aren't so bad. These specialized chemicals and viral cultures, though, they'll take some time. I'm patient, but I'm job number one. Unless you want to start experiencing staff loss. Fuck you, Keener. These people are family. Just think of me as a second cousin if that makes it easier. I won't, and it doesn't. But I'll get the shit on your list with the condition that you leave us alone. Loaded at the pier. I'll give times and locations for deliveries. Don't worry. I'll make it worth your while. For the development of Project Eclipse, the guided missile system and the rogue network, Keener needed supplies. Who better to go to than a rogue agent with a black market and the one in charge of the Rikers? Dragov could deliver Saracrates, specialized chemicals and viral cultures, all for Project Eclipse. Keener threatened that he was a priority, abusing Dragov's importance for his family. Everyone, shut the fuck up! You may have heard rumblings after the bloodbath in Midtown. Yeah. It's true. We lost a lot of good people. People I consider family. What the fuck happened? Keener happened. And unless we play ball, he'll keep happening. Fuck that guy. Let's kill Shut him. Shut the fuck up, Ron. I don't like this any more than you. But this is an opportunity for us. And it'll keep us in the good graces of a powerful ally. First things first. We're moving downtown. We're gonna take an enclave in the heart of the financial district itself. What's an enclave? God damn it, Ron, shut the fuck up! Keener already made word on his promise and attacked the Rikers in Midtown Manhattan. Not only would Dragov have to get these supplies, he needed to move his entire operation to Lower Manhattan, to Wall Street. By then, it was still held by the Last Man Battalion. Using his team, including Heavy and Duchess, he would easily take over Wall Street, their new base of operations. Heavy, you read me? How's the south? Cleared, boss. Two casualties on our side. Ten, maybe fifteen on theirs. Duchess, you through Federal Hall? It's clear. Heading south across Wall Street now. No casualties, but a shitload of these LMB fuckers down. All right. I'm entering the exchange now. Duchess and Heavy, Meet up and move on the front. All clear from the back. Fuck yeah! Let's do this! Ain't gonna be nothing left of these assholes when we're done. Try to savor this. You're already through the hard candy shell. Now, 
All that's left is a nice, juicy filling. Damn, you're making me hungry. These are the same assholes who put you away for life for selling dime bags while they robbed millions from pensions. Do. Your. Worst. Was I unclear? Don't patronize me, Keener. I'm honestly asking, because you still haven't delivered. You realize that moving our entire operation south takes time, don't you? Do I look like a man who cares about your problems? I care about one thing, the delivery of the supplies I asked for. You'll get them. This shit is hard to find. You got 24 hours. If I don't get a delivery by then, I'll make what happened to Heavy look downright pleasant compared to the rest of your crew. Wait. What the fuck did you do to Heavy? I'm sure you'll figure it out. Don't make me come back. Moving his entire operation to Lower Manhattan and gathering the supplies Keener asked for took time and Keener wasn't happy with how fast Dragov was delivering. Keener apparently already took care of Heavy, unbeknownst to Dragov, and threatened to kill the others. In the meantime, Keener recruited Parnell to work on the guided missile system and the rogue network. As we know, Dragov stood watch over Keener as he was recruiting Parnell, just in case. Once Parnell was in, he needed supplies. Where did you find these? Nah. That's not part of the agreement. I need to know that they'll work. Talk to that Theo kid. He'll verify the guidance systems on those boards. What about the rest? We've got Sarah crates, aluminum, explosives, chemicals, proteins, all of it. And we're mixing the aerosol at the pier. I may have a few other things to add to the list. Give us enough time and we can find anything. But I want to see the setup of the pier. Uh, the mixture is very particular. We can head that way then. And drag off? Yeah. Get rid of these security cameras. They're a liability. Not as much of a liability as losing product to theft. These guys are family. But we all know some family can't be trusted. Dragov managed to deliver supplies for Keener, guidance systems on circuit boards for the missile, Sarah crates, aluminum, explosive, chemicals, proteins and aerosol mixing at Pier 26 for both the guidance system and Project Eclipse. Keener stayed cool, not giving an inch or even a compliment for Dragos' hard work. Even still, he needed to see the mixture of the aerosol at the pier. Ain't exactly Vex 6 but it'll do. No, it won't. This mixture isn't providing the correct dispersal on the pressure. We're following your instructions. If you need a different chemical ratio, then you need to provide it. None of these guys are chemists. Uh, that's not what their records say. Fuck off with that shit. My instructions have gone through rigorous testing. If you guys can't follow them, then get me some who can. Fuck! Get that reaction under control! It's not stopping! Then dump it, you useless fuck! Looks like you're running a real quality operation here, Dragoff. Go fuck yourself. Keener had a recipe for Dragoff's men to follow to create the right dispersion under pressure. However, as Keener investigated to produce aerosol, it wasn't good enough. An interesting side note here is that Vexix is a pharmaceutical company from the first game that withheld information on their progress towards a cure for the green poison, according to whistleblower Judy Walters and later discovered by Rick Falassi. With all supplies delivered, Keener requested help from Dragov in attacking City Hall. Dragov alongside Kajika, Parnell and Conley would eliminate the JTF guarding the subway and arm the place with explosives and Keener's bioweapon. Facial recognition analysis. Analysis complete. Javier, Kajika, James, Dragoff, Theo, Parnell, Vivian, Conley. Status Rogue. Analysis complete. Aaron Keener. Status Rogue. The division wouldn't forgive easily and started a manhunt for Keener, but first had to go through his lieutenants. The division went after Dragov, who was holed up in the stock exchange on Wall Street, in the fight taking down a NYPD APC and Duchess. 
In the stock exchange, Dragov met the agents with Knuckles and Ron, a trio with shields and machine guns that would form a big threat with their shield wall. Still, they were no match for the agents and ultimately all three were taken down. Still, the agents needed to go after Dragov's supplies at Pier 26, which in time they did, shutting down his entire operation. It's interesting to see Dragov coming from a corrupt crime syndicate that inspired his need for and emphasis on family. It was this hate for corruption that led him to clean up the NYPD and become a legend among the force, but also in time to disavow the division, go rogue and indirectly create one of the most lethal factions of Manhattan, the Rikers. To see how he managed to acquire the respect of the Rikers and in time become their leader is pretty awesome. It appears he wasn't as much joining Keener as he was more forced into their professional relationship to deliver supplies for Project Eclipse and the guided missile system. Although being the strongest and heaviest of the rogue agents, even he didn't stand a chance against the division. I would love to hear what you think about Dragov. I only managed to find 9 out of 10 collectibles for a subset, as neither me or anyone else, including the guy from Division Map, was able to find it. I even contacted the devs, but they didn't say anything. I hope to find it still and if I do I'll probably let you know on this video in the comments, but I hope it's nothing too revealing. However, I want to thank you for watching. I would appreciate it if you could leave a like or a dislike if you didn't, but I'd ask you to leave some feedback on how I can improve. Game lore is the biggest thing on this channel, mostly now for The Division 2, but also for games like Modern Warfare and The Last of Us Part 2, so make sure to subscribe if that's something you like. But don't just check me out, other great channels are NGN Gaming and Story Mode if you're mostly going for story. And there's a whole variety of other content creators on Division and other games that you might want to check out. If you'd like to support me a little extra, you can become a channel member. With that, I'm going to work on Conley and Keener's videos. Stay safe with the corona craziness and I'll talk to you real soon. Peace out.